How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. I got something super special for you guys today. A little birdie told me you guys were trying to see how you could hook up your own digital dash. Now I'm going to show you guys today how I did that, what you need and how easy it really is to make this work. So let's get right into it guys and let's all get you guys set up with a digital dash. Okay, so first things first, I swear on every video I do, I'm always taking out this seat all the time. All right. So if you guys didn't see my last video, which I'm gonna leave up here, I show you guys why this is the number one mod you guys need to do for your Mini Cooper. Now, briefly, I'm gonna tell you guys, this is gonna show you your coolant and your boost. Obviously, your Mini doesn't come factory with those. These cars run super hot, and if I never had this coolant temp gauge, I probably would've blew my car up about 4,000 times by now, honestly. So, super easy to make this work. You can go in here, diagnostics. You can read engine codes. You can clear engine codes. I have some codes here because my car hates being cold, so there it is. But you can go in here, you can clear these codes and boom done you can also it's clearing them now but you could actually also click on that code and it will actually redirect you to google and show you exactly what's wrong with your car so there's no guesswork or even trying to type in the code on your phone you literally press that redirects you to google and away you go so that's literally it i'm going to show you guys how to build or how to get this so you can use this setup with an iphone you can use it with a tablet literally anything bluetooth or the screen this is going to work for you so the app i'm using in here is called obd fusion now i'm not sure how old this app is how much it costs anymore i've had this set up for probably about oh maybe five years now especially my old volkswagen gti i'll post a picture that actually my old volkswagen gti that thing was sick as hell but it has some issues obviously so got rid of it in the mini love the mini never get rid of the mini so first things first to make this work you need this little guy so i'm using the carista bluetooth obd reader also been using this for five years never failed me it's the communication error so this is what i'm using this is a 25 dollar obd BD reader and then whatever you have it could be your phone like i said it could be your tablet it could be an old android tablet from freaking five years ago if it has bluetooth and you can download any obd2 app from the app store whatever you're using then you can make this work and it's not only for the mini this can be for any car right any car you plug this bad boy in huh you're good right so i'm gonna put that back there we go and now i'm gonna show you guys how i installed this to the speedometer what i did with the speedometer and you're also gonna see how to remove the dash here real quick so Let's go. Okay, so first step, unplug the battery. Okay, so how do I have this mounted to this speedometer here? So first things first, you guys can see this cigarette lighter. Now there is a six foot cord that runs in behind all this and then connects up here. So this is always charging, um, never really dies on me. I mean, obviously it dies right now in the winter because I usually keep the battery in and out and then the power and whatever. So this is what we do. So that's the power, unplug the power. Now I have a full case wrapping around this iPad. So you can see the rubber that wraps around to keep the case secure right and then this is gonna come off like that i'll throw that up there and then here the ipad literally it's an ipad mini it's nothing special but it's been doing me great for years so that's it now here comes the jankiness so you can see i got a screw there and i got a little itty bitty screw there those two screws are what's holding it to a piece of plastic at the back so let's take these off and i'll show you what's at the back now, if you heard that, there's a washer in behind. That's just to keep the case more straight up instead of tilted back. Like this ain't, this ain't gonna be perfect. You know, like this is, everything about this is a first attempt at trying to make something different for this car, right? So take it with a grain of salt. Obviously I didn't build this and then think I was gonna make YouTube videos about it, but here we are. So I'm gonna take that. And now you can see the washers in behind there, okay? So, like I said, there's the case, right? A literally, iPad case screwed to a piece of plastic, right? Now, the speedometer I have at the back, I wrapped it black. So, obviously, the speedometer at the back still works. The needle would go up and down. The gas gauge is all there. I just wrapped it because I didn't want to see it. And then, when I got doubled in center console, it came with this piece right here almost. You can't really see it. It's another piece of plastic I made. But in behind, I'm going to show you guys, is the actual radio delete. So, I made my own little plastic mount and then screwed that to the radio delete, which 
which was screwed to the speedometer. And that's literally it. Now, some of the things I do in this car are so simple, but they look so good that you think it costs a bunch of money. Like you could do this setup for a hundred bucks. You can literally get the OBD reader and get an Amazon Fire, Kindle, whatever it is. And there you go, set up, boom. Find a way to mount the tablet to the speedometer and that's it. So if you want the quick and short of how I did that, that's it. Now, if you want to see me rip the speedometer off and take the dash parts out and see how I actually secured the back as well, I'll do that for you guys right now. But if you don't, well, thanks for watching this far. Okay, so to get this out, these screws right here that hold this plastic piece. Ooh, Julian. All right, so there you go. That is the radio delete piece that I was talking about. And then you can just see that I just wrapped it. Look how dirty this is. Yeah, clean that. Okay, so I'm gonna now take this part out and then you can see at the back how this is secured in the speedometer as well. So first things first, drop the steering wheel and we gotta take this off. So to get the speedometer out, if I can set this camera up nice, you need to unscrew here and here. There's T20 screws there. We gotta remove this trim piece here as well. We have to remove the RPM gauge because the RPM gauge is gonna stop us from actually taking this fully out, which we probably will need to do. Um, uh, might not. Let's see might not have to we might be able to get away with it uh so yeah you can see the one screw there you can see the other screw is back in there uh the one screw there and then there's another one right there and then there's also two screws up inside this vent which are a pain in the dick to get out in the ass huh yeah she's a pain in the ass but we will get them out now just be careful when you're doing this don't don't try to drop no screws because once they drop a screw and it's behind the dashboard huh all i gotta say is good luck my friend good luck if you got a magnet i would suggest using it it definitely makes life a little bit easier that way you're guaranteed it's not going to fall behind even though it just fell made myself look dumb but it does help. Um, okay, so we got this one here, and I hope we can get that top one there and not actually have to remove this piece of trim because honestly, removing that RPM gauge is sometimes just a pain in the dick. Okay, can we get this last one though without screwing the trim up? I don't know. Ah, why? Why you gotta make me work? You know, like honestly. Oh, hold on. Hold on now, boys. Hold on now. We might got it. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Nah, we ain't playing no games today, my man. Okay, so we got that, we got that. I believe there's two screws up top. Yeah, you see? That one's not in though. I actually don't even think. Is this one in either? Yeah, you see that one's not in either. See it right down there? So I never put this back in. Oh, which is good for me because it makes my life a little bit easier. I also haven't even installed the seats back in since the first video. How crazy is that? I'm literally making videos and just ripping my car apart for you guys. Like, I hope it's worth it. I mean, it's all right, like. Okay, so. Since this isn't installed, I should be able to just rip this out, I think. Let's see. Oh yeah, easy. Um, okay. So we got a wire up there. That's where the four way we gotta disconnect. Okay, so there's the bezel, the trim, fancy. I just painted this all black. Um, this is wrapped black, this is painted black. A lot easier to paint this than wrapping it. Okay, so now here is the speedometer and you can just see my I don't give a shit wrapping job. I got the face of it done, didn't care about the rest of it. Now let's take the speedometer out so you can see what we got going on inside here. Uh, there's the plate, like I said, that holds the iPad on to there. Really plain and simple. Just two pieces of plastic screw together and that's it. Everything's gonna be simple. Told you guys that from the get go. Every Everything will be simple. Okay, so now we got screws. I don't even know we got screws. Where we got screws here. We got one there, one there, and then we have one up top. Okay, so the one screw here. And like I said, these are all T20 screws. Literally, I swear to God, you could probably take your whole car apart with a T20 and a flathead and call it a day. Pop that button and there's gonna be a there should be one two three screws if you're taking this whole piece off here should be three screws there i believe there's one over here in the vent um I feel like maybe pull of five or six screws just there's one little piece of plastic here which we have to move to get to the screw at the corner here which is unfortunate oh i might be able to get right there actually instead of taking it apart oh look at that i was wasting my freaking time but if you drop this screw you're absolutely screwed because then you really gotta take your dash apart and you do not want to do that so don't drop this screw get that magnet on there. Can I move this yet? There we go. That should be enough room to get this screw out now. Probably grab my fingers. Yep. And then we got a screw right there. That's the last one. The bitchin' duck is just friggin' ready to go peeling out this summer, that's for sure. Okay, here's the speedometer. 
which obviously it's all plugged in the back there we go and then there's the wire that comes through for the charging push that through and here you go so this is the actual radio delete piece that they give you because normally you have that little dial here and you got the little buttons here for the radio so all i did was i took that delete and i literally just screwed into it so i didn't make this piece here it came with this setup when i bought this now i don't know how much they're selling this for anymore i quickly looked online it looked like they were selling the whole double thing center console for like 100 bucks now which is crazy because i bought it for 40 like three years ago now if i can find cheaper parts for you guys i'm gonna list them all in the comments below um i'll also maybe post a picture here if i can find them if not then sorry but i'm gonna try my best but yeah that's literally it guys the speedometer the radio delete my plastic mount and then the ipad case screwed to that mount that's literally my digital dash setup. It's plain and simple. Yeah, it looks really good, but honestly, the simplest things sometimes look the best. I'm gonna try to find my OBD2 reader and post it in the comments below. Um, if I can't find it, I will try to find other solutions for you guys, like other products that will work as well. I mean, any Bluetooth OBD reader should work with any Bluetooth OBD app from the Android or iOS. So yeah, now I have a giant bomb to now fix inside my car. As you can see, so I hope me ripping my dash apart helped you guys today figure out ways to install a digital dash yourself. And if you can even use magnets and stuff, you don't have to screw it to your dash. There's so many ways to just put anything there. It doesn't have to be an iPad, it can be an Android tablet, it can be your phone, literally anything that's Bluetooth. So hope that helps you guys. And I got some work to do. So see you next time. Peace.